this video, I'm going to talk about what causes eczema, as well as some tips on avoiding this very annoying health problem. Now, before I begin, down below, there's a link where I'm giving away a free uh, video-based guide on dietary supplements and alternative medicine. Just like many medical terms, eczema comes from a Greek word, uh, which is exeme, and this means to boil out. With this condition, a person's skin uh, could have tiny bumps on it. Maybe that's how it had the phrase boiling out. And uh, it could look reddish, dry looking, and may even itch a whole bunch. Now, it really becomes a vicious cycle where the skin itches a lot, so you want to itch it, and you itch it. And then uh, by scratching it, it actually makes the condition worse and speeds up the urge to itch it even more. And the worst part is when someone's trying to get a good nice rest, that's when it's going to itch a bunch. Usually increases the symptoms. Sort of reminds me when I go camping and mosquitoes feast on me like I'm on the buffet and trying to lie in bed and every time you move it like itches like crazy. It's a horrible feeling. Also when you itch, it can harm the skin, begins, it can be, begin to bleed, bacteria can get inside, and eventually blisters may even show up. Sadly, uh, many, many medical experts and researchers out there believe that people who have this medical condition got it through genetics. They were just born with it and just dealt an unlucky hand in life. And sad, but just the way you get sometimes. It really comes down to uh, this element, an overreactive immune system that attacks the skin, bringing about this whole inflammation and reddish look. Uh, eczema is also an ailment. Um, that runs in cycles, almost just like the herpes virus, similar to that. You know, there's times when you don't even know that disease exists, and there's other times when there's big flare-up and the symptoms are really, really bad. Of course, just like with herpes virus, external factors can definitely play a role, as well as internal factors like stress and everything. But the news is, unlike herpes, it's not contagious, so you can't get it from touching somebody or you know, breathing their air or anything. Uh, the bad news is that just like with herpes, once you have it, then well, you're married to it. And there's always a chance you can get another flare-up. Now, uh, one of the things you can do to really reduce your chance of getting this flare-up and help with symptoms is reduce inflammatory foods. Uh, these are things like uh, red meats, trans fats, lots of uh, sugars, dairy products, cooking oils. Basically all the food that tastes really good. <laughs> so that's, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Um, also, there's a lot of uh, great herbal remedies and supplements that can really help out inflammation. Uh, there's some ideas out there would be like garlic, turmeric, ginger, and uh, I can't forget about omega-3 fats. They're really good. Now, if you're truly interested in dietary supplements and herbal remedies out there, like I mentioned, I do have this whole video guide all about this industry and you know, all these products because there's a lot of confusion out there and the reality is, is there are some crappy products. And the industry is really unregulated, so companies can, can do what they want, and they're actually supposed to police themselves, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's just the way it is. A lot of, in a lot of countries, it's that way. Now, this guy can definitely help somebody, and you know how to helping them identify a good product over a crappy product. Talks about various herbs out there, as well as some nifty tricks on what to take for skin care, detoxes, and weight loss, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Oh, and the best part is it's free. So why not check it out, right? And you can learn more by just simply clicking on the link right below the video that I made for you here. Well, I hope uh, this, is, this video has been helpful. I appreciate your time. Please leave a comment with any thoughts. Until next time, take care of yourself and cheers. Bye.